Hive is a network of youth-serving organizations that come together to collaborate to create new connected learning opportunities for youth. The Hive Learning Network has at heart four distinct elements. One is anytime, anywhere learning. Uh, the second is interest-driven, production-centered activities. The third are innovative, cross-disciplinary collaborations. And the other is that the work that we actually do is open and networked. And the Hive becomes a great vehicle to bring in to the learning space the out-of-school networks, the museums, the libraries, the artists, the scientists, the educators, the parents, mentors. And the way that Hive Learning Networks operate is that they are very local in that they all take on the unique direction and goals uh, that are identified by its members. And that each member or network that's involved is one piece of that puzzle, and together they form this amazing picture. What excites me about Hive is that continuum between community innovation and learning innovation. There's some really great models that have the potential to really transform learning. And so we really think about the Hive Learning Network as a space, a laboratory for connected learning where practitioners can take what academics have been studying for the last eight years and put it into practice. Whether it's a small you know, technology, whether it's a piece of code, whether it's an actual practice, whether it's just sharing out how they did something, that Hive Learning Network really functions as a network is one of the key innovations that we're finding. We're all about helping the youth learn new skills, but Hives are also about helping educators and organizations learn new skills. Educators talk all the time about 21st century skills, and uh, one of the essential skills is to recognize the power of network. Youth need opportunities to link learning experiences that happen in otherwise disconnected spaces. And one of the things we need to build to, to support that are things that really function like connectors. Hive actually takes and maps a social system that, that looks and feels like more the digital systems that people engage with. And so when they experience high degree of connectivity uh, an anywhere, anytime environment, we see this in action. Being part of the, of the Hive movement at large has put us in contact with other organizations within the city, helping us develop programs uh, that are, are more ambitious. It is an open door and an invitation for anyone and everyone to get involved. The innovations, the new ideas, the, the how people remix what this looks like. I think what we have to do is empower people with a model that they can then put in their own local context and then bring them into that larger network of people that are also doing that. Whether it's pulling from how Hive Toronto does events or how Hive New York runs their grant making process or how Hive Pittsburgh or Hive Chicago really builds community with their members, those resources are there and it's just a matter of reaching out, asking and then building upon that. And understanding how by supporting a network of practitioners, of innovators, of artists, of educators, that you can really begin to support community efforts that make a better place to live, work, play, and raise a family.